All right, I had a, I had a request. I just forget who it was now. I'll look it up and I'll mention. Uh, one of the guys in, uh, in my last video commented that they would like to see uh, when I took the pan off of the Cruzomatic to put the filter in. So this is what I'm going to do right now. We'll pull all these uh, bolts out. This pan's drained because where the dipstick tube is in is a great big hole. So there's no, there'll be very little fluid in this. A lot of bolts though. I have to take this off and clean it up anyhow. Ah, oh, come on. There it is. Hard to see. I don't know what it is about those LED lights. Man, they're hard on the eyes. All right. I think I've got all the bolts. Yeah. All right, I'll get a little pry here. There she comes. Hasn't been off in a while. There she goes. Cork gasket. That's what's going back on it because that's what they sent. All right. So I'll get you down off the tripod and we'll have a look inside. I'll take us outside. It looks clean in there. Let's get rid of that gasket right now. Of course, like all the like all transmissions, it'll drip and uh, transmission fluid for months, even though they've been off the kind of the car for ages. So, in order to get this off, the filter out, you just grab this clip, drop the filter down, and uh, I don't know if you see it or not. Now there the filter is as clean as a whistle in this I'll probably I'm gonna compare it with the new one I got a little bit of debris right there on it that could have been from moving this around but that transmission is clean as clean inside so anyway I'm gonna take this out to the back step and uh, see how much debris is in the bottom of it so hang on all right there's the pan let's drain the oil out of it it's got a little uh, material in the bottom of it, but I think she'll be okay. Yeah, a little bit. A little heavier in the corner, but hey, not bad. Not too bad. They all have a little bit after they've been used for a while. Let's get her cleaned up. Oh, there she is. She's cleaned up. Pretty decent. I'll wipe it down again, but I'm going to paint it once it dries off a bit there. And there's a couple of these. This is put. This pan was put on pretty decent. They didn't over torque it. There's a couple couple spots that could be uh, like this one here could be flattened back down. So I'll do that. I'll do that after I paint. It's fine. Just a couple taps on these. There's another couple, one or two there. But for the most part, whoever put this together didn't crank the living daylights out of it. So that was nice. Filter, I believe I'm going to reuse the filter. It's in good shape, it's a brass filter. So I'll reuse it. The nuts, uh, the bolts I cleaned up. So that's pretty good. Uh, let's go take a look at the new filter, compare them. All right, this was an ATP automotive uh, kit, and uh, the complaints were this was got it off Amazon. I think it paid $12 for the kit. Uh, I bought it was speculation. I was kind of curious also if the re reviews were correct. And uh, I think. So they were saying that these two holes were a different dif difference. Uh, 
distance and they are and it's not by much but it's enough that I could see making it hard to get it on yeah this hole is, is set back a little too far anyway I'll end up using this filter it's in good shape that's just a, a that's not a hole there that's just a, where it rubbed on something but overall that brass filter is in nice shape I'll blow it out better maybe it looks pretty good Anyway, I'll use the original. It's too bad I couldn't use this, but uh, I mean, the guy, the people that use this said that they did get them on, but they had to bend them a bit. Yeah, you can see how the difference in the length of them, just not by much, but a little bit. So yeah, I'll try it, but I'm pretty sure I'll go back with uh, this filter here. So a TP, uh, this one is a B41 kit. So, yeah. You could use your own opinion on that. But most of these filters here are in nice shape anyways. Alright, let's get a coat of paint on that. Uh, I would say that's probably pretty good. Good enough. I'll see if it needs another coat later, but that's fine. All right, well, that's it. I'll get this put back on and we'll go from there. No, I couldn't get that uh, new filter on there. So I put the old one back on, the brass one, and it just fit right on, no problem. The clip went on nice. The other one, I just couldn't get it without bending. There's a tube in here. <clears throat> it would have to end up bending that tube over about, you know, eighth of an inch or so, and that's quite a bit. It just wouldn't go without stretching something, so I wasn't going to do it. So the old filter went back on, and that's fine. All right, when the pan gets ready, we'll put her all back in. Well, there it is. She's all back in place. Uh, that gasket fit really well out of that kit. Quite happy with it. It is full of fluid there now, and there's no leaks or anything. Remember, guys, don't over-torque those uh, bolts that go in there. You'll just bend the pan. It doesn't gain much. But yeah, uh, Jeff, thanks for the suggestion. And I hope uh, it was helpful, if nothing else, just a curiosity, and that's fine too. So that's it. Uh, thanks for watching, everyone, and we'll catch you in the next one.